Now we're ready for next next speaker. Mitris, please, stage is yours. Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Dmitry. And uh, okay. So I'm uh, from the company called Summarize Bot. We are AI driven company spe specializing in information extraction, structuring, and analysis. Today, we will be talking about summarization and information um, overload issues. So, uh, um, as I said, at uh, Summarize Bot, we are fighting um, information overload. Um, a, a couple of words about company. Uh, we are selling uh, 1,020 different AI-powered uh, products like summarization, sentiment analysis, news aggregation, fake news detection, semantic search, audio summarization, and etc. And um, uh, just. Something wrong with the clicker. I'm sorry. So here uh, um, <laughs> we are. Uh, we were included in uh, top 300 APIs uh, in 2018 in top 300 uh, world APIs. Here are some of uh, our existing uh, clients, and what uh, we are going to, to talk uh, about today. So uh, we are going to talk about summarization. Uh, summarization is an uh, automated process of extracting the most relevant information from unstructured data like text, audio, or video. So uh, uh, you can see an um, example of um, extractive summarization. 80% uh, of the data is a text. So that's why it's important to use uh, summarization. Uh, over one trillion documents created every year. Uh, U.S. economy is losing almost one trillion U.S. dollars every year uh, because of the information overload. Employees spend 20% of their time searching uh, for the right information. And pandability of information can improve employee productivity by 20-25%. Um, I'll try to read. It's uh, an email we received recently. Um, a, a guy saying that uh, he has HD, HD uh, syndrome, and he uh, is using our summarization tool to, to, to summarize court decisions. Um, why um, I'm talking about HD, HD, it's uh, attention uh, deficit uh, uh, syndrome. And uh, there are almost. Uh, uh, 90 million uh, people having uh, this di disorder. Um, almost uh, <laughs> three to five, uh, three to seven percent uh, of, of of people globally having dyslexia. It's the most uh, common learning d disability. And uh, uh, summarization can help to to solve all of this uh, uh, comprehension and and learning and information overload problems. Uh, on the screen, you can see an um, example of uh, uh, multi-document uh, summarization. So uh, let's speak about summarization types. Um, uh, the first type is extractive summarization, where we take uh, the most relevant uh, sentences and present it as a summary. Later on, uh, I, will, I will speak about use cases uh, for different uh, summarization types. Abstractive summarization. It's a summarization type uh, when we are um, extracting the most relevant information and rewriting it. So uh, here is a, an example of um, um, Abstractive uh, uh, summary, we have um, an original text, and then uh, uh, we have a summary. So it's uh, in abstractive summarization, uh, as I said, we can slightly change um, sentences and words. Um, extractive and uh, abstractive summarization. So there is a abstractive summarization type 
which uh, uh, which is uh, uh, basically is um, extractive but has a slight abstractive touch. So um, it's it's dangerous to to, to summarize documents or um, legal legal documents, court decisions with abstractive summarization because it can change uh, sense of the whole sentence. Uh, that's why sometimes uh, uh, there is um, extractive abstractive summarization used. Domain-based summarization. Im imagine that you are um, reading um, an article or a document, and you want to, to summarize it from a specific domain perspective. So at, at SummarizeBot, we have uh, uh, more than 30 different pre-built uh, domains, uh, and we can summarize any, any kind of information based on, on, on these domains. Here is an example of uh, a financial domain summary. Query-based summarization. Um, this is a summarization type when we are uh, having a, a specific query. In this case, uh, what about stocks? And uh, based on, on this query, we are generating um, a summary. Um, at SummarizeBot, we have a technology, we call it uh, theory for business or, or uh, question-based summarization. So imagine that you have uh, thousands of documents, huge archive, uh, and, and you want to, to, to ask uh, a specific question and you can get uh, a, spe a specific answer. So it's, uh, it's also kind of a uh, uh, summarization type uh, where you can uh, get an answer for a, a specific question. Uh, video summarization. So how we are doing video summarization? Um, uh, we are analyzing video itself uh, using uh, computer vision uh, for this. Um, we are uh, doing sound analysis, so we are uh, detecting noises, and of course, speech analysis. So um, we are analyzing uh, speech and um, extracting uh, the most relevant uh, information out of the video. Uh, this is a very interesting uh, use case. So. Um, this is a call transcription. Uh, I read it on a, on a second uh, uh, um, <laughs> September. So um, it was a sales call uh, uh, with our client. And uh, this is a, a use case, an example how we can summarize uh, uh, a Zoom call. So um, uh, as you see, dura uh, duration of the call is uh, 22 minutes. And uh, we can summarize this call in in, in four uh, bullet points like this. So uh, this is an abstractive type uh, summary. And it represents the whole call. So if you have a, a, a CRM system and, uh, and you want to, uh, to, uh, to read a, a summary of of your calls, you can uh, apply abstractive summarization. Um, another way how we are um, applying summarization, this is a um, summarized bot intelligence platform and document management uh, platform. And usually you have uh, file names. And file names uh, not always representing um, the document. So what we are doing, we are um, after after uh, each uh, document name, we are uh, doing short summary. What this document about? And, and when you ha and when you have a document management system, it's easier to to, nav to navigate through your documents. Um, another uh, use case of uh, summarization application, just uh, from last week. Xerox uh, became our client. This is a press release by Xerox. And um, uh, now um, summarized bot AI technologies are, are, are in um, um, Xerox machines. So imagine you can scan a document uh, with a Xerox machine and then get a summary to, to your email or document management system. Um, how? Summarization is related to ESG. 
So, um, uh, and how we are related to fintech. Um, as you know, ESG stands for environmental, social, governmental. It's um, uh, quite uh, a popular topic nowadays. And uh, European Commission uh, already uh, having uh, some laws related to environmental, social, go uh, governmental issues. And now I will tell you how su summarization helps to, to solve ESG issues. Uh, in 2019, we partnered with Bloomberg, uh, and uh, together with Bloomberg, um, we applied artificial intelligence and natural language processing to do uh, ESG analysis. Uh, so, uh, with the help of uh, uh, AI and natural language processing, we are um, analyzing uh, companies, uh, how they are doing uh, in terms of ESG uh, practices. So, imagine uh, you're a financial analyst and you need to read 140 page um, PDF. It's a Walmart corporate report. And uh, it, I mean, it will take you uh, a lot of time to read it. Instead of reading the whole <laughs> report, and Ctrl F doesn't help um, to find uh, specific information, um, we can apply um, domain based um, summarization. So uh, we have a specific. Um, summarization platform for ESG analysts where th they can inject uh, huge reports and we can extract um, the data they need. For example, in this case, this is a Walmart corporate report which is related to consumer goods and uh, we are extracting um, energy management related issues. So this is an energy management related um, summary. So and uh, instead of reading whole report, you can do it in seconds and, and, and you can find uh, most relevant information related to energy management. Uh, this is um, an example of um, uh, a question answering uh, system or theory for, uh, for business. Um, also related to, to ESG, uh, we are asking here to, to uh, hundreds of, of documents how much is GEG em emission or CO2 emission. Uh, in, 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 uh, in seconds, our system can find uh, uh, an answer like Siri. Uh, and then you can navigate it in the original document. Um, another example of uh, summarization, this is a clinical trial uh, report and uh, we're also helping uh, pharmaceutical companies to, to, to generate uh, summaries based on those clinical uh, trial reports. So uh, summary uh, can be presented as a table or as a uh, short summary of the report. Uh, basically, that's it. Uh, thank you for your attention, and I'm ready for the question. Yeah, thank you. I, I will give you a mic. Wait. One, one, one. Uh, out of curiosity, uh, does it, can it do the reverse, like hiding information? Like, for example, if I'm uh, producing some information for my internal and I want to uh, put out uh, more kind of redacted out uh, document, can it hide relevant information like, like in... You, you mean know, anonymization, in yeah? Anonymization, but yeah, uh, anonymization would, would be one case, other would be like hiding maybe relevant uh, commercial uh, data. Yes, at, uh, at, at SummarizeBot we have um, a specific anonymization platform. It's a standalone product. So um, uh, corporates are using this platform to, to uh, anonymize 
uh, documents, content, data sets. So uh, in order to, 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 to comply with GDPR rules, and uh, there is no um, machine or deep learning without anonymization. So if you want to, to, to train on, on um, legal documents, and uh, you need thousands uh, of, of legal documents uh, to, to use machine or deep learning. So f the first step is anonymization. So that's why we have a stand standalone uh, product as anonymization, and we use it internally for, for, uh, for our use cases as well. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and there's a question. Thank you. Um, uh, could you tell a bit more about video summarization? How do you do it? Okay. So um, for video summarization, uh, 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 we are analyzing three types of uh, information. First type is uh, um, video itself. So frames, images. Uh, we are using c uh, computer vision for this. Uh, so f uh, the first step is to recognize um, like objects uh, uh, on the video, so we can distinguish uh, which objects are more relevant and less relevant. So this is a first step. Second step, if uh, if uh, video has some noises, like uh, we also can distinguish some some noises and can identify them. And a third step is uh, speech. So. Uh, we are uh, transcribing speech to text, and then with uh, natural language processing, natural language understanding, and, and generation, trying to 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 um, understand where is the most relevant information is hidden. That's, and then we cut uh, these videos and ending some some effects, and then you get a summary. Yeah, technical question from from my side. So it's. Um uh, a little bit looking look, looks for me as sent, uh, science science fiction, yeah, because it could recognize everything and uh, and summarize. So, how you train it? Uh, what training sets you use it? And what about different languages? Could you could it do it same for Latvian documents, for example? <laughs> yes, we are uh, basically um, um, only one company in the world that can summarize uh, content in 100 languages. Um, for for summarization, we use. Uh, I will be technical now. For summarization, we use supervised and un unsupervised um, models. So, um, uh, so it means you provide some label it examples. Yes, of we documents, have so. we have some models where uh, we require training data, and we have some models where uh, we use transfer uh, uh, transfer learning. So we can. Uh, uh, transfer uh, knowledge from one language group to to another language group. So, and for for example, is this domain specific uh, summar domain sp summarization? How how the big for example, if I'm operating in, in some specific domain domain and I want to summarize my documents, what is uh, what is size of training data set you need to? to, to okay, we have uh, um, uh, uh, several. Um, several approaches to, to do domain-based uh, uh, summarization. Uh, first is uh, uh, huge language models. So we, we can train uh, uh, thousands, uh, I don't know, financial or, or legal documents. Another way how to do uh, uh, domain-based summarization is uh, vocabularies. So you can have, uh, I don't know, 10,000 uh, words in, in your vocabulary, like related to, to one or another uh, domain, and you can use uh, uh, this to, to filter out um, the most relevant information, uh, like related to this, uh, this vocabulary. Uh, but Different ways. Yeah, and practically how it works, uh, you have ready APIs for everything, or I could come with my sp some specific need to you um, our um, uh, so we have uh, we are selling APIs and uh, a platform um, as a service, and what makes us unique? We don't need extra training data for your use cases, since we have both supervised and unsupervised models. 
and uh, for for many use cases, it works out of the out of the box. Do you st have some clients in Latvia? Uh, no, uh, we are mostly uh, North America and um, Asia or company and and European Union. In Latvia, we don't have uh, customers since it's a very small market for us. Okay, thank you. Uh, other questions? Yeah, one question or two questions. And uh, while I'm going, maybe you could uh, say, uh, do you feel competition from the large, uh, large players like Microsoft and Amazon who are also doing text summarizing? No, they're uh, uh, large uh, enterprises and not, uh, of course, they have a summarization technology because in order to, to run a search engine, uh, you first need to, like when you're doing a query, what happens behind Google uh, uh, summarizing or shrinking content and then uh, based on your uh, query showing it to you. So yes, uh, large enterprises, they have exist technology, but they're not selling it as a product. Yeah, the question for me. Thank you, first of all, Dmitry. That was very interesting. And I'm wondering if also the summarized boot calculates the numbers out of this documentation. I mean, do you have this algorithm with the, like calculation of the numbers, or it's just the text summary? Y you mean extracting some information from document and do some calculations? And do some yeah. calculations additional, yes. Yes, it's, it, it's possible. So uh, uh, we are like. <laughs> When we are um, extracting uh, uh, or pre-processing uh, documents, w like we understand like where we have tables, where we have numbers, where we have action words, and, and etc. And yes, it's possible to to to, to do calculations and, and to do um, analysis based on on your specific rules. Uh, yeah, there was another question. Yeah, right here. Dimitri, uh, data science. So uh, the, you have mentioned that you are using the large models, and it is obvious that large models is consuming a lot of hardware resources. How it affects your industry and how you look? Is it problematic or not? And how it will actually affect in the future all these approaches that are currently using an LP like uh, uh, transformer-based models, GPT, and so on? So. Um, um uh, we are doing summarization since 2018, and I already mentioned that we have uh, different models, supervised, unsupervised, machine learning based, deep learning based. Um, so we have mo uh, summarization models uh, that can run on your mobile phone. Uh, I didn't mention, but we are working with um, uh, consumer electronics producers. And they require us to uh, to have models uh, to work without internet on a on a simple uh, devices like uh, mobile phone or screen or uh, TV. Um, so yes, uh, for uh, for different use cases, we have uh, different models, and uh, uh, we have also uh, transformer-based uh, models, large models that um, are running huge data center. But it's it's always depends on a on a use case. So uh, you won't use Ferrari to to to, to transport I don't know to, to deliver coffee. It's it's expensive. So if uh, um, if there's a use case is, uh, if there's a use case to use transformer based model, you, uh, of course we will use a transformer based model. If there's a, a another use case like to 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 uh, to summarize um, millions of of uh, documents real time so it doesn't make sense it will be too expensive to, to use transformers did i answer your, your question okay thank you and, and last question probably from my side how, how satisfied you are with accuracy of this because i assume it's not like 100 percent accurate all uh, the summarization there is some probably uh, well uh, we were uh, we were um, um, we have some, some models that can underperform uh, a human. So um, a couple of weeks ago, my team presented a uh, book summarization algorithm. So we can uh, summarize basically a book. 
uh, and it underperforms a human. So, I mean, depending on the algorithm, uh, extractive uh, uh, extractive algorithms are are, are compared uh, to 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 human and but abstractive algorithms already uh, underperforming a human being in terms of accuracy yeah thank thank you very much thank Thanks. you yeah very interesting story uh